Well, September is National Suicide Prevention Month. State leaders are calling on communities to spread awareness about the suicide hotline 988. They say the state of Indiana sees about 7,000 calls every single month. Fox 59 State House reporter Hannah Adamson shows us how state leaders are working to expand the state's crisis response capacity. The 988 Crisis and Suicide Lifeline is showing signs of success here in Indiana, according to the Family and Social Services Administration, or FSSA. With the number of Hoosiers calling in to receive services each month, more than doubling since its launch. We have a long way to go, uh, but the early returns on that investment are overwhelmingly positive. Since the 988 crisis response system launched in Indiana two years ago, you've reached the 988 suicide and crisis lifeline. The FSSA says the state now averages around 7,000 calls each month from Hoosiers in crisis. Prior to July of 22, we were averaging around 2,500 to 3,000 calls a month. In addition to four call centers and one text center dedicated to the hotline, the FSSA says roughly two-thirds of all Hoosiers have access to mobile crisis services. There are 17 crisis receiving and stabilization service sites placed throughout the state and two more opening soon. And that's not the only upgrade the growing 988 crisis response system will receive. Earlier this year, Indiana was chosen to participate in a federal pilot program to boost behavioral health clinic capacity. Certified community behavioral health clinics, known as CCBHCs, provide 24-7 crisis care through mobile crisis teams in crisis receiving and stabilization services that are connected to 988. This comes as the state continues to feel the effects of a nearly $1 billion Medicaid forecasting error. But FSSA Secretary Dr. Daniel Rusiniak says he's not concerned that will affect future funding to boost 988 system capacity. This is an initiative where we had alignment both from the legislature who really led and championed this work from the governor's office and from the provider community. The FSSA says each of the pilot program sites will be ready to begin offering services by early 2025. Reporting from the State House, I'm Hannah Adamson. Hannah, thank you. And we know if anyone is experiencing suicidal thoughts, you can always call or text 988. It's a 24-7 hotline that will connect you anonymously to a trained crisis specialist.